And joining us at this point is uh, Prabhakar Kumar, HOD Urban Planning uh, for PMAY. Uh, we also have uh, Dikshu Kukreja, Urban Planner and Senior Architect, joining us live. Yukendra Kapoor, Senior Economist, also joins the broadcast, as does Gautam Mukherjee, Senior Journalist. We also have Rishabh Gulati, Managing Editor of NewsX, joining us live uh, on the broadcast as well. Let me uh, bring you in here for Prabhakar Kumar. Obviously, we are seeing for ourselves how the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana has translated into pakka makans for these people in Muzaffarnagar. There are these, you know, their dreams have come through, through these accommodations which have been given to them. Their living room is visible there, the various rooms are visible, the uh, compound we've seen as well. Obviously, these are elated families, uh, Prabhakar Kumar, and this is not just UP, but spread across all over the country. What has been your experience, just tell us, through working on the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana and what was the goal given to you? Uh, working on this PMA work, and uh, uh, in a starting, it was uh, it was not uh, uh, flowing with the pace. But once the beneficiary felt that you know it is going to happen, and we are going to take the um, uh, houses, and from slum houses or from kacha houses, we will leave into the pakka houses. Their enthusiasm get uh, pace uh, uh, with the government scheme, and. In uh, they took participated in various uh, uh, programs and uh, they took took initiatives for making the because they were uh, they are poor they are mount, uh, hand to mouth people in a starting they were not able to uh, uh, collect those money which they have to put uh, for construction of the houses but with the effective uh, project monitoring and effective initiation of the uh, government and uh, knowledge building capacity building they uh, they know that they have anyhow they have to gather the money and put into the uh, construction of houses and uh, you can see that in uh, up particularly in the dlc component 14 Crow, uh, 14 lakhs uh, houses have been sanctioned. Yes. And out of And this that, is not just sanctioning, lakhs. but there is proper follow up as well, Prabhakar, isn't there? Uh, you know, th th there are timelines which are followed. The money is obviously going directly to the bank account, so there is no scope of pilferage. And are the timelines being met? And timeline, because uh, on mission mode, this scheme was uh, monitored. And uh, you can see the result 11 lakhs houses have been completed. Out of 14 lakhs uh, uh, BLC component, 11 lakhs houses completed. It, told, it itself indicate that how the regressive monitoring was done and the direct through DBT, uh, the fund was directly transferred to the beneficiary and the PMC consultant, they uh, uh, did the proper monitoring and uh, 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 it is the result that the 11 lakhs houses are constructed and they are living in the Pakka houses. Yes. Okay, let me bring in Rishabh as well at this point, uh, Rishabh, because, uh, you know, this is a ground report coming in from Muzaffarnagar. Now, Muzaffarnagar often occupies the headlines uh, for news of communal violence. That's what political parties also rage uh, in their campaigns, and their rhetoric. Uh, uh, but what does the public care about? Bijli, Sadak, Pani and Makan. And obviously the latter is being fulfilled no, through so, this. So, so Uday, over the course of the four hours that we're doing live right now, okay, I mean, which we'll repeat tomorrow once again, uh, we've been Shamli, okay, uh, Muzaffarnagar. Uh, this is these are complicated places if you follow us on the news, okay. Uh, but the development is happening there. We've spoken to Muslim families who have got a chauchalier, who got a who uh, you're going to see a ground report from Muslim family who's got a house under PM Awas Yojana coming up in in a, in, a, in a few minutes. So you know once we start moving away from our old typeset issues, what I just want to comment on is what you can see on your screens. You have to see it again to believe it. No, I had also had apprehensions of any government scheme building a house. Okay. But this is, you look at the building. It's a four story building. It's neat and clean. There is proper sewerage. There's proper rainwater uh, 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 systems that have been put into place. Uh, there is a kitchen there with a sink. There is a bathroom with a separate bathing area. There's a small balcony to hang up your clothes with a, with a view. There is a window in every room. There's a sitting area and there's a bedroom which also has a window. So some, some thought has been put into some quality of life for the person living there. Not, and, the, and the houses are pakka built which means they have a concrete roof. That's how the definition of pakka house is. That you know, eat ka, eat ka, eat ki diwar anybody can put. It's the concrete roof is when it becomes a pakka house in a compound where you then have neighbors. 
then you have a sense of you know social security that comes comes with that this is what the the touch feel approach is and you're going to hear from the rest of the ground reports about the money transfer which you're pointing out that when the money is coming for those who are self building some of them are being built under the scheme many of them are self built the money is coming in three tranches directly to their account and you hear for themselves what the people are saying through the course of this telecast okay well you you spoke about shamli rishab let's now uh, in fact play out that ground report that is coming in from shamli in uttar pradesh these aspects are not there then for these people on ground in villages there is no point of their their lives and livelihoods isn't there yeah. and this is all something to look forward to in 2023 there are various further goals which i'll just get prabhakar on Yes. But this is yes. why. So, so before yeah. we go to Prabhakar ji, yes, so we are, we are we are doing this because, like I said, we've done the statistical high flying. You know, we had the new India News Munch uh, just what a few days ago. We had what twelve union ministers, chief ministers, all of them telling us what they say. In theory, they are doing okay. It's a team India approach. I repeat, and Narendra Modi has can only be captain and coach. But in terms of goal orientation, in terms of positivity, not the negativity that whatever scheme is going to be a flop anyway. Why even bother trying? In terms of energy, in terms of enthusiasm, is the slogan. When I I began the telecast by saying we have a slogan: news, not noise. So you are watching a prime time telecast here. None of us are shouting and screaming at each other. None. I am not doing uh, running around, throwing papers at somebody's face, throwing water at somebody's face. So do I take the slogan seriously, or is it just a slogan? So when we say "sabka saath, sabka vikas," is it being taken seriously, or is it just a political, you know, semantics that are being used? And if we then change our philosophy and actually say that okay, maybe the slogan, the the slogan is being taken seriously, then we actually go and meet Usanu Begum, okay, who says, "Yeah, I got a, I got a toilet." Okay, you, Abhi, we are doing a UPI, UPI telecast. We are speaking to Muslim shop shopkeepers that yes, this is not just a slogan. That when you are building the roads, UPI is something. Yeah, whether you and me are beneficiaries, we use it every day. We are going to do the telecast next. So it's about a sense of purpose. Does it mean all our problems are solved? Does it mean 100% cent percent everything credit should go to Narendra Modi? Everybody should become a BJP fan? No. Everybody should be an India fan. Everybody should be a believer in India. What we can do if we put our minds to it. COVID taught us over two years, and the implementation of these schemes is teaching us now. Prabhakar Kumar, uh, you know what is the next phase now? What are the next goals that have been set uh, for the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana for 2023? and moving forwards see uh, as you told that uh, sabka saath sabka vikas sabka prayas uh, it is the very uh, renowned uh, uh, slogan by our own nodi prime minister and it is observed in pmay because government has done their own role even beneficiary they have also played a very great role because previously they were very demotivated about any government scheme but once they started to see ki no it is actually coming directly fund is coming directly to the beneficiary and they have to spend on that it is and in a stage wise they have to do the construction not misuse the fund and stay if i complete this particular stage i will get that much amount then again complete stage and i will get the best amount so they also participated very actively and uh, uh, every caste religion everyone saw that ki it is mane totally not biased scheme it is for all person who is eligible for that yes you know you because you know on ground that it's not yeah. that one village is being favored because they voted yeah. for the bjp or one village is not because it's of a certain other caste or or or, or religion or community yes. is that there prabhakar uh, so man uh, whether a muslim or very poor dalit or high uh, or those who are uh, fulfilling the criteria uh, for the pmay everybody got that who has the sufficient uh, uh, eligibility criteria fulfilled the eligibility criteria sufficient documentation they got that irrespective of anything so those that slogan got proved now because of that Uh, after uh, if this scheme started in 2015 uh, but in 2016 17 it speeded up because of the uh, very good motivation and the uh, actual uh, groundation on the work uh, 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 groundation work on the ground yes so sanctioning was done 
and uh, it was more than the whatever the projected demand was there sanction of the dues were more than that and vis-a-vis the grounding was done uh, in a very phased manner and very effectively now in 2023 those who uh, uh, which are left over the uh, the completed house uh, because it takes time because beneficiary has to arrange some fund of the contribution because they have to put some money uh, to constant because in 2.5 particularly in blc component in 2.5 lakhs uh, house is not going to construct completely as per the norms because it is one bhk and their norms that that particular uh, standard they have to follow that so and they are very poor people so somehow they are struggling with the fund uh, to complete the house uh, roof is completed but internal plastering the tiling all these things are incomplete the, because of that it is not coming under the completion mm-hmm. but if you see if you see that ki, okay everybody has got the roof then this complete house figure is much more than whatever the figure is there yes because it is not fulfilling the norms that's why it is not coming under the uh, uh, complete house norms so the number could so be yeah, the number could works. be far higher if those are also yeah, incorporated it, it is it is almost near to the i mean uh, yeah. i can say that those are those are interesting okay those are interesting logistic hurdles that that you've told us about how could those be further ironed out uh, dikshu kukreja and also you know in terms of the scale of this uh, obviously because you know you you you've been around the world you you were there at of course uh, in fact i think you were uh, part uh, you were very much uh, part of the team that made the dubai pavilion